Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to the Great Big Card Swap. I'm so happy that you are joining me. It is Tuesday, March 26, 2024, and we are doing part two of the Great Big Card Swap. And um, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I thought I was live in the right place and it just wasn't showing up on my computer. There's just a little bit of a delay. Anyway, we are doing part two of the March Great Big Card Swap, and I've got 40 cards to share with you tonight. My buck is kind of looking a little slim, and I was just getting all the cards together right before I came on, and um, I'm wondering if I'm missing some cards. Um, so if you send in a card, and I should have gotten it, and I don't share it, and I haven't already shared it, please let me know. Um, I held my mail while I was gone for on stage in Houston, and I went and picked it up, and now that I'm thinking about it, it did seem like maybe it wasn't a normal amount of mail for a week. And I'm wondering if there's more mail that was held that is somewhere <laughs> at the post office. Hmm. Things that make me go, hmm. Because um, Donna and Diane, I don't, I think I only have three cards from you guys, unless all the curly girls um, and Kara weren't able to participate, which might be the case. Maybe we just have a smaller load. Anyway, that's okay that we have a, <laughs> a smaller box because we do have some amazing cards that I think are definitely going to inspire you. And so I'm so glad that you're here to see them. If this is the, your first time watching the Great Big Card Swap, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. This is our monthly card swap, and it is for everyone. Whether you're a demonstrator, not a demonstrator, whether you use Stampin' Up! products or other amazing paper crafting products, this swap is for you, and it's really super easy. You just send in a card. I share them all so you get to see what everybody else made, and then everyone who sends a card gets one back. I ask that you include a dollar to cover postage and envelopes. If you're an international stamper, in the video description right now, there's a PayPal button um, so that you can purchase five return stamps, not five, $5 USD for three global return stamps, um, and... Uh, yeah, pretty simple. We have a new theme every month. I do ask that you don't write inside the cards because we enjoy being able to send them on and bless other people with the beautiful handmade cards that we receive. Um, and then uh, what's the other thing? No writing inside. I guess that's it. A dollar to, to cover the postage. Don't worry about an envelope unless it's an odd size. Um, and you can send your cards to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Our theme in April is three, as in the number three. Like you could have three squares or three circles or three flowers or, um, I don't know, three's, three's company, three's a charm, what, however you want to interpret three. And I was inspired as I cleared off my desk for our May theme. And um, as I was pulling aside the new catalog and the last chance list, I thought that would be kind of a fun theme. So in May, since we're getting ready for the new catalog and saying goodbye to our old favorites, um, then we're going to have our theme be hello, goodbye. Actually, we're saying goodbye in April and we're saying hello in May. But <laughs> our theme for May will be hello, goodbye. Um, and so you can just do a hello card. I'm thinking of you. You could do a um, bon voyage card. Um, you could do like a, um, you know, I miss you card. I think that kind of fits in with hello and goodbye. Because after you say goodbye, you miss somebody. Um, so... I can't wait to see what you create. You have lots of freedom with that theme. Um, three cards in one. Oh, Sharon, I can't wait to see what you have in store for April. <laughs> that sounds fun. Um, all right, well, let's dig in. I haven't been feeling well since I got back from um, Houston. I'm feeling a little better today. I got a little bit more energy, but um, yesterday was kind of like a sit on the couch day. I really didn't do a whole lot. And I'm trying not to feel guilty about not doing a whole lot because um, I'm usually so busy that 
sitting on the couch does not ever, <laughs> does not happen. Um, I mean, until the end of the day after I've worked all day. Um, oh, no, sorry to hear that you guys are without power, Diane. Yesterday, we were without internet. Mm -hmm. Almost the entire town was without internet. And um, I guess it was a good day to sit on the couch, <laughs> except I couldn't watch anything. Um, so... That, that was tricky. We had the power, but we didn't have internet, so it was a lot of um, trying to use the phone data to do stuff. Anyway, all right, let's get started with these swap cards. I do have some amazing cards, and we're going to start with this one from Melissa Perry. She sent it late, and um, I just thought it was so clever I had to share it. So this is for the theme that was in February. This is her big card, and I love this. Okay, are you catching the reference? In honor of the amazing floor keyboard scene in Tom Hanks's movie big I made a piano card how fun is this the keys are all one inch wide and the white keys are four inch long the black keys are two and a half inches long um, the stamping is in poppy parade that's right there the for you and that is from the wrapped bouquet stamp set and the flower on the inside is from the art gallery stamp set Oh my gosh, so much fun. I think this is so clever, the way that you just clipped the corners to make the piano keys. My grandmother loved to play the piano, and so um, I always was looking for fun piano cards to send her, and she would totally have loved this one. Um, as a side note, I had planned to mail out swap cards from the last two videos um, yesterday, but that got canceled because I wasn't feeling sick, so I am sorry for the long longer than normal wait on those return swap cards. Um, but they are coming. Um, I'm going to work on them in the next day or two and try to get them sent out. So sorry for the delay. If you're waiting, don't worry. I have not forgotten. It's not lost. Although I have to say, Cindy Ewerts, if you're watching, um, <coughs> your card got returned to me and I'm not sure why. It said it couldn't be delivered, um, but we've sent cards to you at that address before. So I'll get in touch with you. <coughs> oh my gosh, I got a little tickle. All right, our theme in March is something old, something new, which is so much fun because um, I challenged you guys, if you wanted to take the challenge, to use an old stamp set or a new stamp set or combined old and new products. And you guys delivered with some really fun blasts from the past. Our first section of cards is animal cards, and our first one is from Debbie Lindauer, who used the Delicate Forest. Um, oh, this die. Yes, I love that die from Delicate Forest. And the fern embossing folder is older, and the Animal Expedition designer paper is what she used here for these cute little animals. Now, the stamp set is called Animal Outing, and it is the same one used over here on this card, but let's take a look at this one first. These colors are so fun. We've got some lemon lime twist with granny apple green in the front, and I just love these cute little animals. This would have been perfect as well for our April card theme with one, two, three animals on there. Hmm. <laughs> oh, such a cute card. I loved those animals. I never did get this bundle, the animal outing. Um, but it, it was such a fun one. This one is from Tyra Marshall. And um, she uh, did some sponging on the background, which I think is such a clever way to color without coloring. <laughs> the new on this card would be the memorable, um, no, meandering meadow designer paper. And this card is a easel card that props up here. And you can see another stamp from that animal outing. Um, the little frog. So, so cute. I just love this and that cute little bird. This actually reminds me of some of the imagery in one of the kits collection. We had one that used to be a paper pumpkin kit and it was like little Valentine boxes and it had a little bird just like that. It must have come out around the same time. Well, our next card is a this or that. This is from Leslie Bon um, Metnitz, and she said, um, this one is for me with the pink, but we got a little this or that. Which way do you prefer it? I think I actually like the contrast with the pink, but I also just love how it blends in and pops over here with the bird being on Stampin' Dimensionals. Do you remember this designer paper? Um, oh, 
Symbols of Fortune, that's it. Symbols of Fortune. This was such a pretty paper with the gold foil accents. And the note of thanks on the inside is from the, um, oh, Wildlife Wonder, I think was the name of the stamp set with the big bear. So this or that, let us know which one you prefer. Um, I'm excited that I get to keep one. So thank you so much, Leslie, for sending that extra card for me. Um, I know, isn't that, it's just a, it's such a simple idea, but I love how there's so many designer papers that have those focal images that you can um, utilize like that. That's fun. Okay, our next card is from Nancy Bridges, and she's got a little double Z fold card here, and her new is that amazing designer paper from Celebration called Flight and Airy, and I just was part of a um, leader meeting from Stampin' Up, and they talked about the um, most popular Celebration items, and Flight and Airy was number one, the number one most popular Celebration item. Um, and I think that goes along with the poll that we did. <laughs> we had a little early March Madness bracket and Flight and Airy came out on top. Number two is the most adored designer paper. In fact, the top five were all designer papers. Um, such a great card. Okay, so we've got perennial postage dies for the front. The old is that bird stamp from a hostess stamp set called Punch Potpourri. Do you guys remember that? Um, and the card designed the double Z fold from Lisa Curcio inspired that one. Um, the amazing handmade birthday card, double Z fold card and Penny Black is the better than age sentiment. Hope your birthday is just the beginning of a year full of happiness. Oh, I love that. Um, I have a similar, um, card tutorial for a double Z fold card. So I'll add that to the tutorial links when we're all done. Um, so check that out in the video description. Um, next card is from AMT and she has got some fun, um, oh, plaid, I love these birds. So we are mixing birds here. The old, um, she's got the language of love stamp set, the bird builder punch, the sweet songbirds stamp set. I think that was this one that coordinated with the punch and, um, the very delightful designer paper. That's the green plaid, love it. And then the fluffiest friends and the notes of nature. So this kitty is from the fluffiest friends um, stamp set. So we got an old cardinal and a new cardinal. I love that. Looks like some rings of love designer paper. Jungle pal dies, recognize that. Today is all about you, happy birthday. That is from that notes of nature. And here's another easel card. So this one kind of is a reverse easel sort of. It folds back like this instead of some of them fold up like going the other way. This one kind of folds up like that. I think they call that a reverse easel. Such a fun card. I love the card layout. I love the colors, granny apple green, a little bit of lemon lime twist in there and some real red for those cardinals. Looks like soft suede, I'd have to say for the trees and the designer paper in the background. Such a great card. AMT, thank you so much for sending that. Becca, so happy you're joining us for our video. I hope that you are feeling better. Um, first trimester nausea. Oh, well, congratulations um, on your pregnancy. That is so exciting. Um, <laughs> and I totally understand that morning sickness. It is morning, noon, and night, and sometimes lasts longer than that first trimester. So hopefully you are over that hump and you will be feeling better, um, moving forward. Oh my goodness. So exciting. We need a, we need a baby theme. We're going to have to do that in an, an upcoming, um, upcoming thing. I'm going to add that to my list. I guess that kind of fits in with the hello, right? <laughs> Hello, welcome new baby. We can make it work. Our next card is from Belinda Bosch. And oh, this little hedgehog is so cute. I love it. Let's see her note here. The hedgehog happiness from 2000. <gasps> and the birthday greeting stamp set. I remember this one from 20, uh, 2001. And then the new is the 3D basics embossing folder. That's an online exclusive. Check out the balloon with a little bit of crystal effects to get that shine. Isn't that so fun? I just love this. The cutest, cutest, cutest with the banner. Horns to blow and bright balloons. Lots of presents, happy tunes. Ice cream cake and candy.
Candles to Birthday Wishes just for you. So cute. Oh, I love it. Our next card is from Barbara McCutcheon, and she has a fun designer paper fold here with that flight and airy designer paper, modern oval punch to punch from the paper, and then also here, which fits in that awesome stamp set. This is in the mini catalog, and I don't think that it carries over. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of this stamp set. Um, Let's see, maybe she's got it in her note. I love that designer paper fold. So a little angle on there and then a tri-fold. Um, something old um, is the quite curvy stamp set at the top, love it. And then um, a sentiment she found at the antique mall. So fun, and the designer paper is made the flight and eerie. But this stamp set is too, we gotta find that really quick because we got time anyway, right? Let's take a look, it is, um, I love that it coordinates with the oval punch, but it's not, um, it's not paired, you know, it's not bundled with the oval punch. It's kind of a standalone stamp set. And, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. oh my goodness. There it is. Filled with happiness on page 35. Um, and, Oh, I should, oh, I should show you the, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm out of it. <laughs> Here's the stamp set filled with happiness. It coordinates really in a fun way with, and Barbara's shown it off so nicely here. So you can punch out, you know, the image for the center, right? Like the bird, but then also the punched piece fits in, um, in the negative space there. So that's kind of fun. Okay. So page 35 filled with happiness. It is going to retire. So if you love this stamp set, you want to make sure to get it before April 30th while supplies last. And the oval punch does carry over, which I'm really excited about, but the stamp sets doesn't. So you've got just a limited time to say goodbye. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next card. Um, speaking of a hello and sticking around, this is kind of exciting. Stampin' Up! has um, is going to carry over a few designer papers into the new annual catalog. And one of them is the Perennial Lavender designer paper. They don't do that very often, but the Perennial Lavender, the Countryside Inn designer paper, bright and beautiful designer paper from the annual catalog, plus the Winter Meadow designer paper from the fall catalog are all going to carry over and continue to be available. Isn't that exciting? This card comes from Sherry Dugan and she has used that um, gingham embossing folder with the perennial lavender, the deckled circles. I think, I think those are gonna carry over or are they retiring? I just looked this up. I'm pretty sure that it, it carries over as an online exclusive. Fabled Friends, Fable Friends is the old here. Um, so cute. I remember that one. It had some um, cute little like almost storybook kind of Peter Rabbit-esque um, characters in it. So cute. Easter greetings. So fun. I can't believe Easter is already this weekend. I feel like it has snuck up on me. What a cute card. And this layout, do you recognize it, is one of my back pocket card layouts. I love that you use that, Sherry. Such a fun one. I'm working on the next couple back pocket card layouts. I need to get those ordered. It's on my list to do um, maybe even tonight. <laughs> Our next card is from Jane Ply. Oh, this, this um, bundle is so fun. It's the um, Cheerful Basket Bundle. It's retired and she used um, some ink to do this background. No, it's designer paper. Sorry, my bad. Um, this is the, I think the Happiness Abounds designer paper. Um, nope, it's not. I think it's from Hobby Lobby. Yes, the cardstock and the card base from Hobby Lobby. Pecan pie for the ink color, and these are little cute little apples. I love that. Such a cute card. And don't you just love kitty cats? This is the last one of our animal theme, and our next set of cards are flowers. This first one is from Kathy King. Oh, Kathy, I'm so sad you didn't get a chance to go to on stage, especially since you were right there. Um, this one is so fun. These flowers remind me of the paper florist dies. Um, these are different dies, but if you are loving the paper florist dies that are in the annual catalog, they're retiring. I'm, I cannot believe it. 
I was really floored to see that because they've been super popular. Um, all right, this set of dies was called In Bloom, and it was one of the first bundles that she bought. I love it. And um, using current colors with a newer um, card base, the worn, yeah, distressed tile card base. That's right. Um, so we've got a uh, berry burst and with bubble bath and lemon lime twist. I love the white on white on this card. It is so beautiful and um, just so classy and elegant. Really pretty. Those scallop contour dies, I think, are on the chopping block. We're saying goodbye to those. I'm so sad. Our next card's also got a bit of white on white here. Lots of gold. This one's from Marie Ferrito using the Botanical Blooms um, designer paper. And then I love this. The theme of her card is new life and marriage. This is so beautiful. Um, oh, this is just gorgeous. I love the gold foil on here with the pearls. It is so elegant for a wedding and I'm not sure how well it's coming through. Can you see the um, embossed lines around the edges? This is done with a paper trimmer, just a little simple score line um, and it is so pretty. I think just a really elegant touch to frame out this gorgeous card. Absolutely love it, Marie. And I'm not sure if you did it, but if you didn't, next time when you're using a big piece of gold like this, all these little pieces, you can um, die cut from the center and then cover it up a way to maximize that amazing gold foil paper. This one is just gorgeous. I know whoever um, would receive this for their wedding would just be absolutely floored by this beautiful card. Our next card is from Elizabeth Elliot. Check this out. We've got some pieces. I think this is from a paper pumpkin kit. And then I loved a little punch greeting here. Warmest winter witches and the little punched um, flower. Again, white on white. So pretty. Um, and winter flowers. I thought this was just uh, such a clever way to use all those extra pieces. I have, do you guys keep a bag? I have a whole little bag of all my extra pieces when I'm done um, crafting. And I don't want to throw them out because they're perfectly good so I put them in a little baggie and I found downstairs when we were cleaning the girls craft space that they have a lot of my baggies of little extra pieces and so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them all because the girls aren't using them um I you know that would be something to ask is 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 that something that you would love to receive as a prize like a just a baggie of random pieces I wonder if I have an example of what I mean by a baggie of random pieces well, yeah, so here's <laughs> here's some examples. Baggies of random pieces, right? Like die cut butterflies and leaves and like um, <laughs> cakes that are colored and labels and punches and stamped pieces and um, just so many things that, like I said, I didn't want to throw it away. Um, so I've got all kinds of little sets of these floating around. So I don't know. Let me know. Leave a comment if that's something that would be fun to receive as a prize. And maybe we'll do that in a, in a video soon. Maybe we'll give away some different baggies of... <laughs> <laughs> baggies of pieces that could be a whole theme right <laughs> julie julie's pieces okay i'm gonna send you some pieces and you gotta make a card from it that'd be a fun challenge <laughs> okay our next card is from cindy kittner and she's uh, using uh she said she was inspired by lisa brown from instagram or something old is the it's my party designer paper stack that was such a fun paper i love the bright colors the melon mambo and then the something new was the Stampin' Up! Inspirational Sketches stamp set that she used. I love these brass butterflies. They are always just so perfect to add to any card. This is kind of a fun double flap card. I shared one like this kind of recently, so I'll put the link in the video description in case you want to make something similar. Um, so there is a mini card in the front and then that designer paper piece is five and a quarter by six inches and then scored it two inches and fold it over. Super simple, but a great way to show off both sides of the designer paper. Our next card is from Loretta Buzza. Oh, I'm sorry if I butchered that. I'm so, so sorry, Loretta. This is such a fun card. And she sent an extra for me too. Thank you so much. All right, something old, something new. This one was inspired. It's called the Simple Twist Card. And um, it was inspired by Connie Stewart. I think I've got a... Um, 
I think I've got a tutorial, so I'm gonna add it to the tutorial links. A uh, Peaceful Poppies designer paper. Do you remember this one? I love it. Flirty Flamingo, metallic ribbon, something fancy dies, heartfelt hello stamp set. That's from Celebration. And then the inside is from the So Sincere stamp set. Her favorite, done by Sandy Hancock. That was a million sales achiever stamp set. And Sandy is her, um, is, uh, let's, let's, Oh, she says she's in Sandy Hancock's downline. I love it, Loretta, this is so fun. Um, such a great card. So if you've not seen this simple card, simple twist card base, I'm just gonna show you really quick. So we've got a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock. We score in half at five and a half. And then we're going to um, score, like we have about an inch here, an inch and a quarter maybe, and then, yeah, inch and a quarter, and then we score from corner to corner with that four inches, and then we fold it back. And on top of that back fold, we have another square, and that is four inches by four inches, and the designer paper three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Um, <laughs> I was just reading Diane's comment about <laughs> the card theme being a bag of random card stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't I didn't see any comments. Do you guys do that too though? Do you have a baggie of stuff? Um oh Sandy says she's gotten bags like that in mystery boxes. That's fun. Jennifer has bags like that. Okay, it's not just me. I'm glad <laughs> I'm so glad. Um I think it's a fun challenge just to pull out the baggie and like make a card with stuff that's in it. Um, and Alita gives out random baggies too. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, love, love, love this simple twist card. Thank you so much, Loretta. And I'm so happy you are joining us for the great big card swap. We have a couple first time swappers with us this month and it just makes me so happy because I love, um, I love seeing your cards and then I love sending happy meal right back to you. Our next card is from Margaret. Burkett and she has used this tropical, timeless tropical stamp set. I think the designer paper was called Tropical Oasis maybe if I'm remembering right. Um, I remember this one though and I love this sort of like weave embossing folder. It has a tropical vibe. A little daffodil delight back here. Old olive garden green for the leaves and that poppy parade watercolored so beautifully. Rest and relax. That is definitely what a vacation is for. Such an awesome card. A little stamping on the inside. May your birthday be memorable. Oh, Margaret, that's such a good one. I love it. I'm ready for a tropical vacation. Jim and I are excited that we will be leaving next month in literally almost a month. We will be leaving on the incentive trip and I am already looking forward to it. I know I just went on a trip and I just got back from Houston, but I'm ready to go again. <laughs> Wendy Lang says set this one. Gosh, this would have been perfect for our big theme in February and for our hello theme in May. Um, but here it is for the something old, something new. Do you guys remember this one? This big blossom stamp set. She thinks it's from around 2007. That sounds about right. And the polished pink ink and cardstock. Do you remember those clear buttons too? This is so fun. Um, this stamp, it was one big, um, one big, blossom stamp and then I love the little um the faux stitching the little black dotted lines that you've done around the edges I think it's just so fun and it ties in that black and white with the black and white gingham rim too oh what a great card thank you so much for that trip down memory lane Wendy our next two cards use the same stamp set the everyday details um, stamp set and two of the dies from that bundle as well. The first one is from Cindy Peckett and this is a um, a center step card. The easy, I call it an easy center step card. No crazy cutting or scoring. Um, it's just a simple smaller card on top of the, the double mountain card and I, I will link that up in the video description. So Cindy is using the old colors, wild wasabi and groovy guava. The designer paper is afternoon tea. Gosh, I just loved that paper. So pretty. And then the new, of course, the um, new stamp set, the everyday, um, everyday elegance. I think that's what it's called. Um, and the happy birthday from a celebration stamp set called elementary elegance. Um, did I get that right? Every, everyday details. What did I say? 
not elegance, everyday details. Um, so good. Love that. Love that fun card on the inside. Oh, wishing you so much joy on this special day. What a great card from the same stamp set is the teacup and the tea. Uh, actually, the teacup, this teacup is from the same stamp set. This teacup is from a different stamp set. And let's see what Susan says in her card. Ooh, look on the inside, all that stamping. All right. She says, <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I got to I gotta make sure I do her name right. Thank you for the pronunciation key. Susan Tabach. Batch. Tabachnik. I got it now. Tabachnik. I got to just practice. Um, Susan Tabachnik. Um, all right. Let's see. Stamp set. The um, ba -ba 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 -ba. cup of tea uh, or spot of tea with the framelits and then the everyday details teacup there. So we got some old and new. And then do you guys recognize the designer paper? The designer paper is the um, A Little Latte designer paper online exclusive that has the coffee cups. Isn't that a fun plaid? Petal pink, some lemon lolly, Lost Lagoon, and Calypso Coral. So pretty. Um, yes, Sandy, the theme for April is three. So I know that's kind of like a loose theme. I was going to do three's company or, you know, um, I don't know, three musketeers, but I couldn't couldn't decide on which clever pun I wanted to do with three. So just three. Um, so you could do a grouping of three. You could do three animals, three flowers, three circles, three, um, three cards, three squares, three, um, I don't know, happy birthday, you're turning three. <laughs> Um, I, whatever you come up with is going to be absolutely fabulous. Our next card is from Deb Rupp and the tissue here is just to protect, um, the, the twine from coloring everything else in the card. So when you get this card, you can just take that, um, take that tissue, um, out. This is a book binding card with the, um, the twine on there. I love that. And oh my gosh, so gorgeous. I love this fold. So fun. And this um, stamp set is the Easter Lily stamp set. It's from the mini catalog. Um, Grapefruit Grove. Oh, such a great color. We just pulled that out for our color comparison video. Um, if you haven't seen that, you'll have to check it out from um, Thursday night. Um, and then we've got the Golden Afternoon stamp set. I think that's the thinking of you sentiment there. Yep, the greeting. The Copper Clay um, cardstock to go with the um, Groovy Guava. Um, she says her Wink Estella is really dry, but she brushed over the lilies. You know what you could try with the Wink Estella when it gets dry is to add some, um, add some rubbing alcohol to your Wink of Stella because it will, um, sort of collect all of the gold shimmer that's still inside, um, the, the pen and you can get so much life still out of your Wink of Stella. So if it's running dry, try a little bit of that, um, rubbing alcohol if you haven't already, um, inside the base and kind of collect that and, and keep using it. I love it. Um, Oh, Sandy, I'm so glad you're getting more confident in your in your card making. I think that's what's so much fun about the Great Big Card Swap is we really have stampers of all styles and all um, abilities. And I do, when I send the cards out, I try to match people up, right? So um, like if you're using all current Stampin' Up! stuff, I try to send you back um, a stamp or a card that's using all new stuff, right? If you're using non-Stampin' Up! stuff, I send you a card that's non-Stampin' Up! stuff. And then I do some subdividing and I just, I want everybody to be happy with the card that they get back. So um, we've got room for all stampers in the great big card swap. And I know that um, you'll just love whatever cards you get back. And um, a big shout out to all of you for sending in your amazing cards and sharing with us every month. Because all of these cards that I share are yours. They're not mine. They're yours. So thank you so much for having the courage to share your cards and your artwork um, with all of us and it makes me so happy to see them and I always feel so inspired and I know all of you watching do as well so leave lots of comments for our swappers leave encouraging words um, and thank you for being here
All right, let's move on. Our next card is from Alita. Oh, I just love Alita. She's so sweet. Alita Williams. Um, and she's always sharing cards over in our Facebook group. So Alita, thank you for sharing over there. I always do feel so inspired by your card making missions. Um, this is the controversial wild wheat color, but isn't it so pretty with the wild wheat stamped on wild wheat? Happy birthday. May your day be as beautiful as you are. Oh, this is so sweet. The beautiful day stamp set. Oh, actually, this is, ooh, I thought it was wild wheat on wild wheat. It is soft suede on wild wheat. I love that. Um, those colors really go nicely together. Uh, I'm on the fence on wild wheat. I like it. Um, I mostly like it, but this... I really, this is so sharp. I'm, I'm digging it. And sometimes I like wild wheat on its own more than I like it with other colors because it just has an opportunity to be itself and to shine. All right, stitch rectangles. I couldn't find the other elegant faceted gems. These are so pretty. I love those. Um, perfect to go on there. And the stitch rectangles. There's so many great label dies, aren't there? Um, really beautiful card, Alita. Thank you so much. Um, and Kathy, so glad you're joining us, even if you are a little bit late. Our next card is from Carrie Zacharias. So pretty here with that Aspen tree dye embossing folder. Oh, I remember that one. What is the name of it? Mm -mm -mm. It was after lovely as a tree, but it was only around for like, um, a time or two. And this thinking of you is one of my favorite. I love the size of it. Little gold foil in here, some, um, early espresso ink, a little copper ribbon. I love those shiny little sparkly gems and the stitched oval. Sending warm thoughts. So sweet. Um, all right, our next card. Oh, this one is fun from Alberta Futch. This is a fun little fold that has kind of a tri, tri fold here, but I love the little angle and the designer paper. I don't remember the name of this designer paper, but um, the colors here are just so, so beautiful. We've got some pale, excuse me, that was a weird sound, <laughs> pale papaya, uh, which is retired Calypso coral, a little Bermuda Bay in there, but that could be Lost Lagoon, um, some old olive evening espresso, um, just so fun. I love that. And then the die cuts um, to go in there. Thanks. You're so kind. Oh. What a great card. I love, I'm just loving that angle. I got to do something like that. Our next set of cards is a this or that. I'm going to open both of these a little vellum to protect them. How about this old stamp set? This is from Christine Almond, and she sent a little photocopy of the stamp set image so you can see close to nature. Do you remember this one? I know I had it back in the day. It was a small little set of four from 2003, 21 years ago. All right, so we've got a this or that. We've got two different color variations here using the stamps from this set. Um, and also the designer paper is the Poetic Expressions designer paper. So this one's got some Lost Lagoon. This one's some Mercoco Rose with a little bubble bath. This or that, which coloring do you prefer on this? Perennial postage label punches or dies, and actually that might be a punch, um, the smaller one. Um, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but these images are embossed, so they're kind of shiny as well. On the inside, perennial postage, um, die cut pieces, and I love that little embosslet that's part of the perennial postage dies, and then a butterfly in the middle. Fantastic. This or that, I'm pretty split. I don't know if you already assigned one for me. <laughs> um, oh, and yes, I totally did recognize this layout. Chris said that she was inspired by the annual sneak peek video, the annual catalog sneak peek video that I did back in um, Houston when I was still there. I shared um, a card that we made during the after hours class. And it, so it had sort of this like main background piece and then the two smaller squares. And so that's the layout that she was inspired by when she created these cards. And I have another one. Uh, here it is. This was also one of the after hour class designs um, and the same layout with the little squares and the background piece. So same layout, four different ways. I just, you guys know I love a good layout. Um, all right, this or that, I'm seeing a that, a this, a that, the blue, a that sounds like that is winning. 
Uh, but they're both so awesome, Chris. Thank you so much for sending an extra one for me. Um, and always the cardstock you use is so beautiful. Um, I'm trying to remember. I know you've said before where it was from. And you sent me some too. That was so awesome. It's just always so beautiful. It's shiny and it's thick and heavy duty. Really beautiful. All right. Our next card from Jennifer Olson. I love this little tag with some die cuts. And I'm digging these colors like a pool party with a soft suede and copper. A little um, soft succulent evening evergreen crumb cake in here. Um, I just think that's such a fantastic color combination. A little kind of jute twine. Um, I think that you could send that all year round for any occasion. Such a great card. Uh, another this or that. This one is from Cherith Day. Um, I love this so much. It's It says extra special Easter wishes. And our loads of love truck is got a load of Easter eggs in the back and a cutie patootie driver. Um, she says this is her oldest stamp set from 2004. I'm pretty sure this one is called Loads of Love. She stamped all the stamp images for us to take a look. Do you guys have this one? Um, I think Alita, you sent me some. Is this, is it called Loads of Love? Is that, is this the right one? I'm pretty sure it is. Cute little pickup truck. <laughs> Such an old one. This is so cute. I love it. All the different things that you can put inside the truck. And then the different sentiments. That was such a great stamp set. It did not have a punch. I think the other one, the other truck with the punch is still available in online exclusives if you love the look of this. So Cherith used that old stamp set and then combined it with her newest stamp set, which is the sketched plaid background. The colors here, petal pink on the left with pool party on the right and the stripes embossing folder. Um, is actually already sold out from Stampin' Up. That makes a really great road, though. That's perfect. What a great card, Chair. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, loads of love, and Linda still has it, too. It's such a great... Um, I think that went inside. Let's, let's try this again. Boop. Um, such a great stamp set. And thank you so much for doing that challenge of doing both the oldest stamp set you have and the newest stamps that you have. I think that would be a challenge for me. So I, I have lots of respect, Cherith, that you pulled it off and made such great cards. Thank you for sharing those. Our next card is from Pat Nimmo, and she has used this older stamp set called Elementary Elegance. This was a celebration stamp set. Somebody else used it on their card as well. Um, and these new birds and dragonflies from the online exclusives and that great pink passion. Oh my gosh, that's such an old color. And then the charming sentiments on the inside, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Do you recognize this cardstock? It is the old confetti cream cardstock. We used to have such um, fun confetti cardstock and there was cream and there was white and it had literal flex confetti um, inside the card. So fun. I love that. Great blast from the past. I haven't thought about confetti cardstock in a while. <laughs> Our next card is from Sherry Werner and she created this fun card with the beautiful um, heart images and she included an extra piece of designer paper for the envelope flap so I'll stick that in side um, the the card when I send it and whoever gets it can decorate their envelope when they send this card out to somebody the oldest stamps that she has hearts and posies I remember that and then her newest designer paper um, is the flight and airy designer paper we've seen that one a few times uh, she said she cracked open her first pack of bubble bath yay the sentiment from Honeycomb Happiness and Sealed with Love. What a great card. I love how you decorated the inside. A little designer paper on each side and that sentiment too. And these fun little flowers with the gems. What a sweet card. I love it. Another Flight and Airy designer paper card. This one from Judy Albert. Um, and she said she used um, the the greeting from free as a bird yes and the flower um so this is one of those cards where you've got a flap coming onto the um from the back to the front and then the designer paper sticks to that so you can see the inside and the outside and then having a little tag here so the sentiment and the flower from that free as a bird 
um, stamp set and the Finlet from the Thoughtful Expressions um, die set. And I think is the, nope, I think that carries over. Does it? Hmm. I was just looking at that the other day, the Thoughtful Expression dies from the mini catalog. It's so hard because some things are on the list and some things are not. Okay, Thoughtful Expression dies are on the last chance list. Um, but the stamp set carries over. I don't understand why they do that. Um, but the Thoughtful Expression dies used to cut these labels. There's also some more circular labels are some of my favorite. I'm really sad that that one is not going to carry over. So especially if you like the stamp set that goes with it, make sure that you get that one right away. All right, we've got a blast from the past with this one from Debbie Bustle. This stamp set, does anybody recognize it? It's called Sally Stamper. It is so old. It is before my time with Stampin' Up. <laughs> and we got some extra images in here. Oh, I love this. Uh, it started out with just one stamp, which led to two, then three. Now I'm a stampaholic and don't want recovery. <laughs> I cared enough to stamp it myself. Will work for stamps. She who dies with the most stamps wins. I'd rather be stamping. A stampaholic. I heart stamps. If it doesn't stamp, move it. Oh my gosh, I love this. This old stamp. <laughs> um, and then the, the new stamp, what does she say? The Be Mine from the 2024 mini catalog in celebration. Most adored designer paper. Um, she stamped some extra images. Thank you so much for that. Oh, Debbie, so sweet with Sally Stamper in there. Um, and I have no idea. They did re-release this um, some of the stamp, um, some of the favorite stamp images. I think it was during the 15-year anniversary, and that was 20 years ago because Stampin' Up! recently celebrated 35 years. But during the 15th anniversary year, Stampin' Up! re-released some of the most popular stamp sets from the previous 15 years. And this one was one that they re-released. And so I did buy it in that 15 anniversary year um, but I don't know when it first came out it was definitely one of the early stamp sets from the um, from from the 90s for sure so fun that you have it and that you used it Debbie thank you so much for that fun card Elaine do you still have it too <laughs> when was the last time that you got it out it's one of those stamps that's probably sitting in your sitting in your cabinet for a while Rosemary McDougall sent this one I love this berry designer paper this was a celebration gift a year or two ago and it had a coordinating stamp set it was part of a level two bundle and then the hope anchors the soul is from another stamp set love the scallop squares here um on top of that um designer paper so pretty look at this fun one do you recognize these elements this is actually from a kit's collection um, and is a little mini scrapbook kit. In fact, I think that kit was an option that you could choose during celebration when they had the more to celebrate offering. This card was inspired by Rachel Tessman. <laughs> uh, it's by Melu Cartwright and she used, she said she went nuts with the embellishments. Love this memory is the name of the kit. And the old is the happy hello stamp from the tin of greetings stamp set tahitian tied background on the lower right from the work of art stamp set oh i remember that one too and then um in good taste for the elements there you really did go all out and have so much fun with this card i love the bright colors parakeet party with some mango melody some tahitian tied um and some i see some flirty flamingo in there too that was such a fun kit if you don't have it yet it's, i think it's still available and as a as a kits collection and it has a bunch of different pieces that you can use to create the album so fun I love that I thought about doing that as a theme was like you know recreating alternative projects with kits but I felt like that was too specific so um, all right, our next two cards come from Ross Ann Muncy, and she has a this or that as well, a newer cupcake stamp set and another older cupcake stamp set. I think there was a note in here. Must be in the other card. Uh, the stamps were Sweet Cupcake and the Hero Arts Cupcakes stamp. Oh, I love these colors. We got some um, 
lemon lolly in the background, some crumb cake, and it looks like some daffodil delight. Make a big wish. That looks so yummy. I just want to eat cupcakes. <laughs> and I love this one that has all the different cupcakes in the background, and then the few that are colored and kind of spotlighted. So this or that, tell me which card is more your style. If you got to choose one, which one would you keep at home? Aren't they just so fun? I love all the little gems on here and a little bit of, um, a little bit of like uh, crystal effects or some stickles. Um, I don't think stickles, that wasn't the right um, product, really fun. I love the big, the big bulky twine bows too. So fun, May Lou. Thank you so much for sending an extra card for me. We got more treats going on over here. This card is from Tracy Evans from the UK, and she used that brand new ice cream sundae. It's on the um, it's on the cover of the catalog. This new um, bundle. I'm loving these colors: pecan pie and some basic black and early espresso. Some of that faux leather trim. Aren't those cookies just yummy? They remind me of the Girl Scout cookies um that we have in our cabinet ice cream swirl is the name of that um that stamp set and bundle from the cover of the mini catalog which is running out of time and will be ending soon we're so sad about that um similar colors here we've got one with the uh little latte sweet this one's from maria alts alch alts alch Oh, I'm sorry, Maria. Hopefully I got it right. I love the combination of elements here. The designer paper, um, the die cut or fussy cut images from the designer paper. I love the little strips of the hearts and some stamping on the circle in the background. And then on the inside, I love that pop of color. You're the best part of my day. Do you love this little latte suite? I just posted a whole bunch of cards. I think like 25 or 26 card ideas that I took pictures of on the on stage design display boards over on my Facebook group. So be sure to check it out over there. If you would, are looking for some more inspiration with this suite, this is such a great layout um, and such a fantastic card. Thank you so much, Maria, for swapping with us and for sending in a card. Our next two cards use the Perennial Lavender designer paper. This one from Cynthia Houston. She is using the Dragonfly Garden stamp set and the Perennial Lavender designer paper. Loving this layout. Um, may good things grow all year long. I'm so happy this designer paper is going to carry over. Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. I never used so much purple in my life until this paper came out. <laughs> Our next one is from uh, Marsha Boltz. Um, I'm, I know you've told me before, Marsha, and I'm having a um, um, brain moment. Um, <laughs> uh, so beautiful here. We've got the... Um, Perennial Lavender Designer Paper, the Quiet Meadow Dyes, or I'm sorry, the Meadow Dyes and the Quiet Meadow Stamp Set. The, um, oh, I love these butterflies. The laser cut butterflies um, are going to carry over. The what are they called? Paper Butterfly Accents. Yes, so excited about that. A little twine in there with the crumb cake and the festive, or the purple, not festive, the purple shimmer gems. I'm trying to separate that. I think, no. Nope fingers aren't working. <laughs> there we go. So pretty. I love that they coordinate. One's got dragonflies and one has butterflies. Our last three cards are from our curly girls. Um, no Cara and no, uh, no Becca this time. Um, I hope you guys are able to join next time. We are, our, our similar theme here is the, um, Meandering Meadow designer paper. The first card here is from Donna. She said her oldest stamp set is the Happy Tales stamp set that coordinated with the dog punch. Love it. Um, this is the stamp set that brought her into her wonderful family of Stampin' Up. I love it. I love it. Love it. New paper, the Meandering Meadow. Um, and this DSP fun fold layout is from Connie Stewart. Check this out. It is a fold up with that designer paper and then a fold down with a card and the rest of the designer paper. I love this. I've not seen it before. So this top card is the designer paper and the bottom card is the Knight of Navy. And then there is some additional cardstock on the on the background there as well. I'm gonna put that back in there to protect our layer. So cute. And this, um, this the Garden Meadow stamp set, or is that the name of it? 
is where the little, well, the, the fence here and the birds too. Yeah, and the thinking of you as well. So fun, and I love that you combine them both. Here we've got the dog punch. This one's from Carol Rossman, and using the same designer paper, a little flap up with that designer paper. I can't imagine having a better friend. Oh, that's so perfect with the dog punch, isn't it? This one has a, an opening, like a regular card on the inside with a go-to greetings. Happy birthday. Um, such a great set. I'm so sad that that one is retiring. If you don't have it yet, make sure that you get it from the annual account catalog. And then lastly, we've got um, Diane's card over here um, with the same card layout. Oh, look at that embossing folder with the puppy paws. Except we got the cat with the cat punch. The same fold here. So we've got the base of it is the balmy blue and then um, the designer paper that opens up. Oh, how clever is that? I can't imagine having a better friend with the little gates. Oh, so sweet. You guys have outdone yourself. The hello friend. Let's see. I think we got the full list here. Um, DSP fun fold cards on the horizon. That's where the birds came from. The nine lives cat, um, nine lives stamp set with a cat punch. The hello friend is from the hen friendly hello stamp set. Thoughtful expression dies meandering meadow and the pause embossing folder. I don't recognize that. I think it is not stamping up, uh, but so cute. And it goes well with the little kitty cat. Oh my gosh, thank you to our, our curly girls and thank you so much to all of our swappers tonight. If you um, weren't able to swap with us this month, I hope that you'll be able to join us next month. Our theme in April is three. Don't let it confuse you. Don't overthink it. Just three. <laughs> three flowers, three squares, three circles. Whatever you do, do it in threes. It's going to be fabulous. And if you'd like to send a head for May, our theme is hello, goodbye. You don't have to do both of them on the same card. You could have a hello card or a goodbye card. Um, interpret it however you'd like. I can't wait to see what you'll create. You can send your cards to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. Please include a dollar to cover return postage in an envelope. If you don't have any cash, if you don't have dollars, that's fine. You can send a stamp or two um, and... I will cover the envelope, so no need to include an envelope. Don't write on the inside. You can use a sticky note or a loose paper to say hello. Write a note to your maybe potential swap friend um, and just have fun with it. It's all about just having fun and happy meal. I love so much that you've joined me tonight. Thank you so much for watching and leaving so many great comments in the chat for our swappers. Thank you to all of our swappers who shared their cards, both in this video and in part one. If you haven't seen it yet, it's linked up in the video description so you can check it out. We'll be live with more swap showcases on the second and fourth Tuesday of every month. So I hope that you'll join us next time for the great big card swap. Until then, happy stamping!